In this problem, we are given the descriptions of two vectors, and we're being asked to analyze them. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a picture of those two vectors. So here is our coordinate axes. And the first vector we're told about, vector 1, it's called, it says it has 6.6 six units, 6 .6 units and points along the negative x-axis. So I'm going to draw the negative x-axis as pointing to the left. So our first vector, the 1, is going to look something like this, pointing to the left. That's v sub 1. And the second vector is 8.5 units and points at a positive 55 degree angle to the positive x-axis. So it's going to look something like this, where it's coming up at a 55 degree angle from the horizontal. And this is vector v sub 2. And this is 55 degrees. So the first problem, or the first part of the problem, part A, asks us to find the x and y components of each vector. Let's start with vector 1. So we want to find v sub 1x and v sub 1y. And for vector 1, this is pretty easy because vector 1 points along the x-axis. So it only has a component in the x-axis. We don't need to worry about breaking it up into sines and cosines or anything because it only exists along one of the axes anyway. So we know that its x component is negative 6.6 .6 units because that vector only exists as an x component. Similarly, we apply the same logic to v sub 1 y, the y component of vector 1. We can see from our diagram there is no component of the vector in the y axis. So v sub 1 y is 0 units. Now vector 2 is not as easy, but it's still not too bad. We're going to find v sub 2x and v sub 2y. This time, the, ang the vector does exist at an angle, which means we do have to break it up into components. Fortunately, this is pretty simple. The x component is equal to the magnitude of the vector multiplied by the cosine of the angle, and the y component is the magnitude of the vector multiplied by the sine of the angle. So v sub 2x is equal to 8.5, that is the magnitude of the vector, multiplied by the cosine of the angle, 55 degrees, which comes out to be 4.9 units. The y component, now we'll use the sine function, so 8.5 times the sine of 55 degrees. And this comes out to be 7 units. And that is our answer for part A. Part B asks us to find the sum of the two vectors. So in other words, we're looking for the resultant vector that comes up from the tail of the first vector and ends at the head of the final vector. So this blue vector that I've drawn is v1 plus v2. So to find the sum of, a ve of two vectors, we need to add up the components of the vectors that we already have. So I'm going to have a little component table here. Let's see if this is x and this is y. And we're going to add the x components of the two vectors together, and we're going to add the y components of the two vectors together. So for the x component, we're adding negative 6.6 to 4.9. And then for the y component, we're adding 0 with 7.0. So if we add these components together, then the components for the final vector we get are negative 1.7 units for the x component and just 7 units for the y component. So to find the magnitude and angle, the magnitude and direction of this vector, we'll just apply the typical process. So for the magnitude of the vector, the magnitude of this sum, we'll need to take the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. So that's the square root of negative 1.7 squared plus 7 squared. And if we put that into a calculator, then we get a magnitude of about 7.2 units. So that is the magnitude of the vector sum. But we also want to find the angle. So recall that angle is equal to the inverse tangent 
of the y component divided by the x component. So that's the inverse tangent of 7 divided by negative 1.7, which gives us an angle of about 76 degrees. And it should also be noted that this angle is clockwise from the negative x-axis. It's important to clarify the actual direction of the angle. And that is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. And if you have a request or a question, leave a comment down below. That's all for now, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye-bye.